This short little demonstration will show you how to calculate standard deviation. You'll see here that we have five individuals um, listed as person one, person two, person three, person four, and person five. Each of their scores are reported. The first person got six, the next eight, the next 10, the next 12, and the last one, 14. Um, in order to calculate standard deviations, there are a number of pieces of information that we need. First of all, we're going to need um, the mean of the data set, which we abbreviate as M. Next, we're going to need the um, to calculate each deviation and square it. Next, we're going to have to calculate the sum of squares and the variance and the standard deviation. So let's go through and figure this process out. So the mean is equal to the sum of all the scores x divided by n, which is the number of scores. And so in order to calculate that, we want to take the sum of all the scores. So if I add up 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, um, 26, 36, and we get 50. Divided by the number of scores, which is five. And so the mean is 10. Next, we figure out the deviations squared. So let's begin by figuring out the deviations. Each deviation is equal to each score x minus m squared. And so let's figure that out for each score. First, the deviation, x minus m. And so we're going to take six, which is the score, minus 10, which is the mean equals negative four. And in our last column, we square it. I'm going to make another column here because that's how we'll do it in Excel. So here's the deviations. And next we square the deviations. So four times four is 16. Our next person has a score of eight minus the mean of 10 equals uh, negative two, which if we square it, we get four. Next, 10 minus 10 equals zero. If we square it, we get zero. 12 minus 10 equals two. If we square it, we get four. 14 minus 10 equals four. If we square it, we get 16. These are our squared deviations. Our next step is to figure out our sum of squared deviations. And so this would be read sum of squares. And what it really means is the sum of squared deviations. And so we're going to be using these numbers, the 16, plus the four, which is 20, plus the zero, still 20, plus the four, 24, plus the 16 to get a total of 40. And so the sum of squares equals the sum of all the deviations squared, which equals there we go, these are our squared deviations and the sum of equals 40. Next, we calculate our variance, which is that odd score that we're going to be using throughout this chapter whenever we are calculating with numbers. And our variance is simply sum of squares divided by n.
Remember, there are different ways of calculating variance if you're going online. We'll be using another way a little bit later in the term, but for now, this is how we're calculating variance. And so in this case, we have equals our sum of squares, which is 40, divided by n, which equals five, at n of five values. And so our variance is equal to eight. Our last step gets us to our value that we've been seeking, which is the standard deviation. And I see here that I wrote SS, but we know that the standard deviation is actually indicated with SD at this point. There will in the future be other ways of indicating standard deviation, but for now, this is what we're doing. And the standard deviation simply equals the square root of the variance. And so in this case, SD equals the square root of eight. And if we get out our handy little calculator and figure out what the square root of eight is, we can see that eight square root is 2.8284. Two point eight two eight four, and that's the end of this demonstration to figure out how to calculate standard deviation.